Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'll be switching back to hardy trees. I'll be working on my Osage Orange Forest. My Osage Orange Forest was started from seeds. The seeds were sent to me by Dana and they first germinated in June of 2019. So they'll be entering their fourth growing season after this winter. The fruit from these trees looks like a brain about this size. They're kind of really interesting looking. The common name for them is the horse apple. It's an inedible fruit. They use the fruit for making pesticides. We're at the very northern range of this tree. It's native to North America. So you don't see them very often. And I don't think I've ever seen one in the wild. I've seen one growing at the CNE grounds in Toronto, but that's the only one I've seen growing kind of outdoors. I always give these trees protection in the winter. I kind of treat them like Japanese maples or Japanese black pines, where I can let them go down to about minus five degrees Celsius or, you know, five degrees below freezing. And they seem to do well. I wouldn't want to risk them getting too cold, especially when they're in a bonsai pot. I germinated these seeds in a seed tray. And once they had grown a bit, I sorted them according to size. So then when I planted the forest, I put all the larger trees up front, putting my largest one here, kind of creating a pathway down the middle of the forest. And since then, they've kind of grown according to that initial sorting. So the ones that were strongest as seedlings are still the strongest trees in the forest. So it worked out quite well, arranging them by size early on. And then they've just kind of maintained that relationship the bigger trees always stayed the most vigorous and the smaller ones. You can see some are very tiny down here. They've always grown very weakly or very slowly compared to the other ones. These trees are covered in little tiny sharp thorns and they were often used as fencing. They would grow like a hedge around a cattle pasture to keep the cattle from wandering off the property. These trees have grown from three years as a seed, and you can see I'm already getting some nice branching on some of the trees, which is quite exciting. I've got to keep these trees quite slim because it's a very densely planted forest. If I let the crowns get too big, they start shading out the trees around it. Today, I'll be pruning up the trees, trying to keep as much of that branching on top of the trees as possible, but bringing them in more compact so they have a slimmer profile. At the base of each of these needles here, I can see a dormant leaf bud. So I can kind of use the thorns as a guide for pruning. So I'm going to start the pruning now. So I'm going to prune these branches back as far as I can. I'll just take a stub off of here. Prune them back as far as I can, keeping a couple of buds. So this branch, I'll take it back to here just like that. This branch, I can take it back to a, a bud here. I'll show you a close-up of that. There's a close-up and you can see there's a bud right at the base of this needle. There's a bud behind this needle here. There's a bud right at the base of this one. So I will prune this one. I can see there's a bud here, a bud here. So I'll take it off right here like that. There's a branch out front here. I've got a bud here, one here. So I'll just take it off here like that. There's a stub here I can clean up on this branch. And then I'll prune it off. I've got a bud here, one on the bottom, one each side here. I've got to keep it compact. So I'm going to, I don't like the, the bud on the bottom. It'll grow down. This one will grow up. So I'm going to take it right back to here like that. I'll have to be very careful disposing of these branches because they have the thorns on it. There's a branch at the back here. This part of it looks like it died off. I don't know if it got shaded out. Um, but it looks like the branch off to this side lived. So I'll just take that one back a little bit. Oh, I don't think that one's alive either. I think that whole branch died off there. I'll just prune it back and then if something does develop on it 
that's good if nothing does then I'll prune it off next year or later on so I think I've got a stub up here but there is a butt at the back so I'll just just take the tip off there like that and that's got the main tree pruned up getting it nice and compact I've got a long branch coming out here that I can prune up so I'll take it off right there's a bud there one here one here so I'll take it off here some of the trees are still just kind of holding on to their leaves they're already kind of falling off when you touch them so I'll have to clean up the landscape move all the dead leaves if you keep the dead leaves at the base of your forest, you get a risk of fungal infections. So it's best to remove the leaves. Just rely on fertilizer to help your trees along rather than organic compost. And you gotta be careful doing this because these thorns are very, very sharp. I've poked myself several times doesn't really hurt all that much but they're sharp gotta be very careful treat the trees with respect they're kind of remind me of the thorns on a Brazilian rain tree little sharp tiny ones or an acacia too I have a lot of trees that have thorns on them I think it's a cool feature of the tree I, I wouldn't remove them. I think it's kind of, you know, if the tree naturally has thorns, well, keep the thorns on it. Just be careful when you're pruning and handling the trees. Guess I could use tweezers. Might be easier. So these trees have nice fall colors. They turn a nice yellow color. And they're, yeah, they're quite beautiful in fall. It always looks nice, this forest. Even though it's a young forest, Looks great in fall, looks great in summer. We're back to winter outside here. We got lots of snow last night. Okay, I think that's got pretty well all the leaves off the trees. Just a few little ones up front here. Now I've got to clean up the forest floor. Move all the leaves and compost them outside. So these trees are really good for bonsai. I uh, googled them and I saw some really nice ones as bonsai on the internet. They're not a very common species to use and I, I don't know why because you know they have naturally small leaves they're used in hedges so they react to pruning really well they ramify nicely they get beautiful bark on them as they get older a very kind of striped bark it looks like a citrus bark except even more it has you know deeper ridges and that it's not a it's not a citrus tree but uh, it's just called the Osage orange is just a nickname there's a giant hand reaching into a forest yeah. I have gotten some dieback in this forest um, naturally some of the weaker trees they get shaded out and they die off so whenever i plant seeds i always plant way too many more than i would ever need and then you always get some natural die back and then hopefully you know you end up with about the right number of trees now i have given a lot of these away these osage orange trees so I did have more seedlings than this. I had way more than I could ever use. But even in this forest, you know, every year I get a couple die off. And that, that might continue as these trees mature too. I mean, as these trunks get thicker and they get more and more branching, it's pretty hard to keep this many trees alive in a forest and have them all getting light without shading each other out. I'll try. I'll try and maintain them, but uh, it, it'll get difficult, especially as they get a little larger. Now, I will try and keep them small. I don't want 
you know, a giant, giant forest. I'll try and keep it small and miniature looking if I can. But there's probably be some natural progression. The, the trunks will thicken up and, you know, you may have to get the forest larger to keep everything in proportion. But we'll see. It'll be interesting. Like I've seen trident maple forests where the trees are still very slim after many, many years, like, you know, 20, 30, 40 years. And the, the trees in the forest look very good and densely planted. So maybe with some careful forest management, I can keep this forest small with all kinds of trees in it. Looking in here, I'm really getting the impression that I'm in a forest. It, it's amazing. It feels like kind of springtime in a forest before the leaves come out. It really gives me that illusion. I guess I'm in the bonsai zone. Oops. And that's the whole idea of bonsai is to, you know, when you're viewing a forest like this, to feel like you're actually looking at a full-size forest and you're there out in the woods. It's kind of a cool feeling. These long tweezers are really good for working in forest. I don't know what I'd ever do without them. They're fantastic. They're precise and you can get in in between all the trees. I remember it was one of the first bonsai specific tools I ever bought was a long pair of tweezers like this. And I never regretted paying, I think it was like $12. And I've used them so much since then. Like, they're so, such a good tool. And an inexpensive tool too. Yeah, they're just fantastic. Okay, I think that's got the forest floor all cleaned up. I just noticed that it's getting dark outside I don't know how that happened. I came out here in the afternoon working away on my forest and now it seems like it's getting close to sunset. The shortest day of the year is coming up December 21st, the winter solstice. So I'll be glad when that day passes because then every day will be getting a little longer and a little longer all the way till spring. I got a little distracted cleaning up the forest floor. So I'm going to finish the pruning now. So here I go. So I've got a branch coming up here. I'll take it off here. Got a tall one here. This can be taken off to here. There's a long one here I can take off. So I'm not doing much styling on this forest yet, just keeping them compact. The styling will be coming later on as the trees get a little more mature and more branches. I think I'm getting pretty close to being all finished. Yeah, it's looking quite nice. Here's a look at the Osage Orange Forest now in its winter silhouette. I think it looks really cool. It looks very miniature too. I kind of like how many trees there are in the forest. It gives it a lot of depth. Yeah, very pleased with it. I think it's a really cool species to grow as bonsai. I think one of the amazing things about bonsai is that you can take a seed tray of seedlings and three years later they, they make a really nice attractive forest. Bonsai doesn't have to be about having really old and mature trees. Sometimes it's about the artistic arrangement of them and even young trees can look spectacular. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. 
Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.